Hello, my name is John Harchbarger and I'm the Customer Care Manager here at AgriFab. Today I'm here to talk to you about how to properly maintain and use our 26 inch push lawn sweeper. To improve performance, always mow your lawn to an even height before sweeping. Tall uneven grass limits sweeping action and performance. It's always very helpful to mow over any leaves you plan to sweep up. This will break up and help lift leaves that are embedded in the grass reducing the number of passes you have to make. Proper brush height adjustment is key to your sweeper's performance. To adjust your sweeper brushes to the best operating height, loosen the hand knob and slide the height adjustment tube down to raise the brushes or slide the tube up to lower the brushes. For best possible results, start with the brushes at the highest setting and gradually reduce the brushes at height until the unwanted material is swept into the hopper while the wheels and brushes still move easily. Ideally, the brushes are set half inch down into the grass, but all lawns are different. Your sweeper can pick up leaves, grass clippings, sweet gum balls, pine needles, acorns, pine cones, small sticks, and other small lawn debris. Lawn sweepers are also great for cleaning up after dethatching with an AgriFab dethatcher. Please remember that some lawn debris, such as sweet gum balls, may require more than one pass. While operating the sweeper, it is best to consistently keep the sweeper level to the ground. To empty the hopper, lift the lower bag rod out of the bag rod holders. Then on the back of the hopper, pull the lower bag rod away from the sweeper while keeping a hand on or removing the upper bag rod, then tilt the bag to empty. The bearings in the sweeper have been lubricated at the factory. It is recommended that a few drops of light oil be added to the brush shaft bearings twice a year. The wheel should be removed to clean gears every two years. After cleaning, apply an even coat of light grease. To remove the wheel, pop off hubcap with a screwdriver and remove retaining E-ring and flat washer with pliers. Do not remove both wheels at the same time to avoid mixing up parts. The right hand and left hand gears are not interchangeable. Make notes or take pictures on the position of washers and snap rings during disassembly. Remove only one wheel from the sweeper at a time. Remove the retaining rings and washers which hold the ratchet gear onto the brush shaft. Remove the gear by sliding it off the brush shaft. Look for the drive pin which may fall out of the brush shaft when the ratchet gear is removed. To reassemble, insert the drive pin through the hole near the end of the brush shaft. Make sure the pin slides back and forth easily in the shaft. Lightly grease the shaft and fill the ratchet gear with grease. Assemble the ratchet gear back onto the shaft. Lightly grease the axle and the gear teeth on the wheel and then reassemble the wheel. The brushes should rotate only during the forward movement. If the brushes rotate by both forward and reverse movements, the drive pin is jamming in the ratchet gear. Disassemble, clean, and lubricate the drive pin and ratchet gear, then reassemble the wheel. Remove opposite wheel and repeat these steps for that wheel. Remove the hopper bag from the lawn sweeper. Brush replacement should be done one brush at a time. Tip the sweeper forward on the housing for ease of brush replacement. Do not remove the hex bolt from double brush retainers through the brush shaft. Loosen hex bolts and hex lock nuts from the single brush retainers. Slide brush out of retainers, making note of overlap bristle position. Install a new brush, making sure overlap bristles are positioned the same as before.